Hello and welcome to today's video. This is our from our recent trip to Dollywood. We found that we were only about four hours away from Williamstown, Kentucky. My wife always wanted to go to the Ark Encounter, so we made the trip. And uh, this is a short video. Uh, easy trip to make. Uh, big parking lot. This was, I think, a Monday morning. The building in the background there is actually Hampton Inn and Suites where we stayed. And here's a note. You can actually walk from there through a back gate and cross the parking lot without having to pay for parking. Uh, something we found out after the fact. When you first arrive at the Ark Encounter, you enter this main building, uh, snack area, small gift shop, that sort of thing. There are other snack areas and other larger gift shops throughout the facility. There are restrooms here, all very easy to, uh, to get to. And this is something, you know, I know the religious overtones, if you're not a particularly religious person, it's still interesting to go to just to see the, the, the facility itself, the, the way the Ark may have been constructed, the way the uh, uh, problems encountered may have been addressed. It, it, it's interesting from that point of view alone, even if you, uh, if you don't discount the religious aspect, which I know to many people is important. But as you can see here, it is a beautiful, beautiful area. The Ark appears to be a full-scale uh, replica. The um, uh, weather was beautiful in this particular day. It was not particularly crowded. And again, we were early. Lots of places to take pictures, places to take uh, good photo opportunities. And there are other places on the facility. You'll see a little bit later, there's a restaurant, there's a zoo. Um, it's a very nice family atmosphere. A little place to take some comical photographs there. And then you make your way at your own pace. And this entire thing is at your own pace. It's a very impressive sight, to say the least. And like I say, even if you're just here to look at the the mechanics of it, it's its interesting. And on the interior, as I say, you know, nobody really knows how this would have been accomplished, uh, but this shows you the, the possibilities of how uh, this could have been done and how particular problems could have been addressed, handling the animals, that sort of thing. And I know that uh, the creators here took quite a bit of license in so far as how they put this together. But again, it's at least a study of, of how these things could have been done with the technology of, of, of the day. Lots of information, lots of drawings, scale models, and honestly, I didn't know what I was, you know, expecting here. But I was pleasantly surprised. It was, uh, it was an interesting visit. It was well worth our time and our slight diversion from our our uh, normal path. Now, I will say that Williamstown itself and the area around there is very sparse. There's not a lot of things to do there. There are not a lot of businesses. There's a Walmart nearby. That's pretty much about it. The structure is really amazing, though. Of course, even while you're on the Ark, there are access to uh, elevators for, for people that need that for mobility. There uh, are restrooms on every level, uh, so it's, uh, it's very easy to, to get around, take your, pay, your own time, set your pace. There are plenty of places to sit and rest. Uh, all the ramps that you go up and down are very wide. Again, lots of information.
the door here with the uh, the light uh, shining, the cross shining on the doors, a very popular place to take photographs, as you might expect. They have the facilities here that may have been, uh, you know, the way that um, cabins for people on board might have been built. Cages everywhere. The animals that, that are in the cages are all very lifelike, very well done. It, it, the whole thing is very well done as far as from a professional standpoint. But it's a very low pressure place. Uh, everyone we encounter is very nice. There were snacks uh, available to be purchased on the deck, on various decks as well. And there's enough, there are enough things on board that you could take several hours walking through here and, and going over everything with some detail reading all the exhibits, going through the exhibits. Uh, all this would, uh, could be done and it uh, might, take, uh, might take several hours. And when you leave the Ark itself, there's a restaurant here. We're gonna make our way toward the, uh, the zoo. Now the zoo isn't huge. It isn't uh, you know, a, a world-class kind of facility, but it is nice, it's well kept up. Uh, they were offering at the time, I think, uh, rides on camel rides for kids I'm, I'm and adults, I assume. The uh, uh, a, overall facility was well kept a up. A, Not a lot of exotic animals or that sort of thing like you might find in a large like. zoo, but uh, certainly but a, a well worth your time and walking around and having a, a good look. Um, beyond this, I've included at the end several photographs. Um, it's just an overall very nice place. Uh, certainly recommend it. Uh, if you happen to be in the area, if you happen to be driving along I-75 through Kentucky, as you can see, the ramps are very accessible. There are a lot of really nice dioramas set up throughout the, uh, the facility that are very lifelike, very uh, uh, easy to photograph very detailed to look at. Again, the animals that are in the the uh, cages are, are well done. Very clean facility. Again, well kept up. I mean, it's absolutely fascinating. If you just if you're into shipbuilding, if you're into just seeing how this this could have been put together, it is it's very impressive. Again, the dioramas here, there's a few pictures, uh, are professionally done. Very interesting. It is uh, uh, the kind of place that you know you might not think about going to. You might not. Many people may not even realize it's there, but uh, it's it's worthwhile. It's a worthwhile side trip. Uh, you know, I don't know how many people make this the center point of of a trip or of a vacation, but it's worth stopping by. This particular figure is animatronic. It actually talks. Uh, it it's just uh, a very professional. Uh, facility. This is an area for uh, for kids to go through the fairy tale arc, and uh, and of course a lot of the uh, the souvenirs, a lot of things in the shop are arc related. There are many sections. There's a section of the the gift shop that has uh, items from all over the world. Um, very very interesting and, and worth your time. So again, I hope you enjoy this video. We have more travel coming up. We appreciate all our subscribers. And uh, we thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you next time.